Hello my friends, my name is Catherine and today I am going to be making a little rectangle pouch. I have got these fat quarters that I showed you making the bias tape with the other day, the leftover ones that I didn't make into bias tape, obviously. And I have got these, well, this one zipper that I showed you the putting together of just yesterday. And I am going to make this into a little rectangular bag. So I want it to be about one inch tall and I want it to be about four, four inches maybe, four inches wide, maybe five inches wide, something like that. We'll figure it out. Um, but we're going to start with this black and white repeating pattern. I really like it. I think it's gorgeous. And I'm going to, actually what I want to do is make a template for this before I do anything else because I want to be able to repeat it as many times as I like. Um... So let's see here, let's just grab our paper scissors and start by, yep, no, that's exactly, that's almost exactly 12 inches. So let's just line up that edge there and make this edge 12 inches. It's going to be just than just less than an inch high once all is sewn and done um, because I'm not leaving in seam allowance I'm just figuring that that's going to come off of the total I usually do that to be honest with you guys things always end up a little bit smaller than I measure them but that's all right I factor that in when I'm designing you know, my whatever. Go. Okay. That's straight. And then let's fold this in half. And then make it, let's see, it's going to be Well, let's see if I do that the long way, then I want to do this the short way. So making it like Well, it's going to be half over. Let me think about this for a second. Yeah, okay. So if I do this 2 inches, it'll end up 4 inches wide. Do I want to do it longer than that? I don't know. Let me look at this for a second. Mm, we'll see. Oh. Okay. Well, let's just fold this back over. And then cut this. Actually, you know what? No, let's make it wider than that. Let's make it six inches wide, which would be cutting it at three. Go. And then put another cut at three from the other side. fold between our two cuts. Ah, I was just using my fabric shears on that. I'm a terrible person. Sh 
shouldn't do that. That's okay. It'll work out. It'll all work out. Fold it so now I have a straight line and then just try to cut a straight line. I mean, who knows? It might even work this time. I'm not holding my breath, but it could. I could cut a straight line for once. That's pretty close to straight. It's not the worst thing ever. All right, so this will be our pattern. The bag will fold over like this. And that's, yeah, about the size I want. Might even want it a little shorter. Mm, once it's folded in, it'll be... Yeah, it'll, it'll end up being what it ends up being. Actually, I may want it a little shorter. Let's see. It is right now. Well, how did that end up crooked? How did that end up crooked? That's not straight. Anyway, if I take two inches, or if I take one inch off of this, that makes it five. Do I want it to be five? Do I want it to be four? Four might be too small. We'll go with five. If it ends up being too big, that's okay. So that'll be good. That's going to be our pattern. And then we want a one inch wide piece. One inch by... Oh, how tall was that again? I think it just said it was five, but I'm not sure now that I'm thinking about it. Well, that's one inch that down that way, and this is going to be too long, so that's just what we want, because so we can cut it down in a moment. Let's figure out how long we want it to be. All right, so it's going to want to be this length minus an inch which is six, so it's going to want to be five. Uh-huh. Yep, I just said five, and then I doubted myself. Five. There we go. Okay. So this piece is one by five, and this piece is 12 by, I've already forgotten, uh, 12 by six. All right. One by five, 12 by six. Okay, now let's cut out our fabric. We're going to want one of these and two of these from two different colors. I think that one and that one probably. So we'll set the other two aside and flatten this out and line that up with that edge there and grab some pattern weights to hold it down while we're working there and there and then pull out our rotary cutter And I haven't used, aha, uh -huh, so that. Is that cutting? No, it's not. Hmm. How? I haven't used this rotary cutter before. We will see how it goes. Aha, uh -huh, it is cutting. Excellent. Okay, one like that. There we go, and then set that aside, 
and then two like this, which I'm just going to have to hold because my <laughs> pattern weights are too big for this anyway. One. Oh, didn't cut all the way over there. It's okay. One and two. Well, shouldn't count my chickens before they're cut, but whatever. Two, there we go. All right, so I've got two cut of this and one of that. And then the other one, same thing. There we go. Fold it all the way out. Lay it flat line my pattern up with the edge and drop some weights on it to hold it in place there we go and then check to make sure everything's still lined up right it wasn't so it's a good thing i checked and then Cut. Go and then set those weights aside for later. Oh. Ended up with a single thread right there. There we go. And then set that aside and set our template aside and cut out the little edge piece there we are One, that needs to be straightened up just a little bit. Come on you, I said straight now. There we go. One, and one more. <laughs> two, the next number after one is two. One and one more. go there we are all right and that's all the pieces for the bag cut so one for an outside and then one for an inside now I am going to end this video here and you will just have to come back tomorrow to see the finished version in between episodes, I'm going to iron on some iron-on interfacing to all of these pieces so that everything ends up a little bit stiffer than it is because I want it to be stiffer for this bag. I will see you guys all tomorrow, and bye!